Looking for something unique for your collection? Or a special gift for a bourbon enthusiast? Here are our top five recommendations for a 125 and higher bottle of whiskey. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name's Arthur. And I'm Scott, and this is Artfully Bourbon. Welcome, friends. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, and thanks for joining us. Man, $150 is a lot for a bottle of bourbon. Mm. Honestly, there are very few bottles we'd spend more than that on. Too many great options out there at a lower price point. Mm -hmm. But you're looking for something a little more unique, something special. And you're looking to go above and beyond the standard everyday expressions. These five are some of our favorites and also our recommendations. Now granted, some of these are gonna be harder to find depending on where you live or what stores you're shopping at. And the prices shared today are what they are in our area. If you're interested in recommendations at lower price points, we recently did an episode of top bourbons between $25 and $50. And $50 to $75, and $75 to $100, and $100 to $125. You can watch all those episodes in our best bourbons playlist up here. If you're looking for even more bourbon content, in-depth reviews, community chats, and extra perks, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1.99 a month. And by doing so, you support this channel, and that allows us to continue making great content. All right. Ready? Let's dive in. Let's do it. Bottle number one. Where do we start? Hmm. Well, let's start with this one. The Barstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series. This is a banger for $140. It's definitely a steep price. But one that is definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. We tried a number of these and this Series 7 is one of our favorites. Really, we like just about everything that Barstown Bourbon Company puts out. Agree with that. One of our favorite distilleries for sure. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful bottle. First off, not a bourbon. Correct. It's a blended whiskey, and this is a 114.5 proof. Now the blend is what makes this interesting, in my opinion. Truth. The whiskey in this comes from four different places. Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, and Ontario, Canada. And most of it is high age stated. The youngest in this thing is seven years old. Mm -hmm. The oldest, 17 years old. Wow. The Series 7 is the first time Bardstown has sourced whiskey from outside the U.S. Mm -hmm. Overall, the mash bill on the five whiskeys in this bottle are corn heavy, but it really works out well. Builds a great foundation without taking over. The nose is, I'd say, creamy and sweet. Mm -hmm. The little fruit, little oak. When tasting, you might find a little cornbread, some baking spice, a little leather, and maybe some brown sugar. Even though it's corn heavy, you get some rye spice on the finish as well. And if you can't find the number seven, this bottle, just look for the others in the series. Mm -hmm. mm, nine's good too. Nine's really good. All right, Barstown does a great job blending. And if you're looking for something unique, look no further. Are you a fan of Bardstown? What's your favorite expression? Leave us a comment. All right, on to bottle number two. This next one varies a little on price, but you should be able to find it when it's available for around $125. The Michter's Barrel Strength Rye Whiskey. $114.8 proof and one of my favorite ryes. This is a limited release and it's a single barrel, even though the label doesn't say so. So being a single barrel, the proof will vary on this one a little bit. There are very few single barrel, barrel strength rise that are even available. Mm -hmm. And that is something that makes this truly unique. Another way that this stands out is its complex flavor profile. Mm -hmm. The color is bold and dark. On the nose, you'll find bold cinnamon, fruit, some graham cracker drizzled with some caramel. With a little oak. This is gonna punch you right in the nose. <laughs> oh, my favorite part, the palate. Toasty orange. With a complexity of other flavors, 
Maple syrup, oak, and a little vanilla. Yeah. The finish transitions nicely to more earthy notes. Leather, oak, baking spices, and of course that rice spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, there isn't a lot of fanfare around this bottle though. Maybe rye's best kept secret? Yeah, I mean, if you enjoy McDurst's standard expression, but are looking more for a bold, in-your-face, punch in the mouth, keep an eye out on this one. Bottle number three. Lucky number 13. Russell's Reserve 13 year. This is a $150, but... Be prepared to pay more if it's just sitting on a shelf. Yeah, we had to put this on the list though because it is one of our favorites. Not just on this list, but on any list. Yeah. Unfortunately though, unlike the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye, this is not a sleeper. No, it isn't. Feels like everybody knows about this one. It's exceptional, and if you can get it for MSRP, I would even say it's a good value. Wait, did you just say Russell's <laughs> 13 is a good value? Yep, but not on secondary. No, of course not. This is a barrel proof bourbon from Wild Turkey and it comes in at 114.8 proof. Wait, you say 114.8? Mm -hmm. These are all 114 proof and this one and this one are exactly the same, 114.8. Well, that is a requirement to be on this list oh, apparently. No. That's not true, but what a coincidence. All right, we both like the Russell's 10 year, but add three years to that and this surpasses it in every way. What I like most about this is the balance. Oh yes, for sure. Sweet fruit is countered with a really, really nice layer of oak notes. Mm -hmm. The aroma starts off with sweet berries. And you'll get a little cinnamon, a little of the uh, baking spice profile as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, just a little oak, a little bit. The palette, though, is where this really shines. Mm -hmm. A perfect blend of sweet and savory. It's kind of like a, hmm, a McDonald's McGriddle. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't eat at McDonald's often, but if I do, it's the McGriddle. Probably the best invention ever made. I can't believe we are comparing <laughs> Russell's 13 to a <laughs> McGriddle. Let's get back to bourbon, please. Okay. The palate is heavier fruit with a balance of oak and subtle leather. And on the finish, the oak takes over, but in the best way. Mm. I want some. Or maybe weirdly, I just want a McGriddle. Probably a McGriddle. All right, before Scott loses his mind over the McGriddle, let's move on to bottle number four. Another banger in my opinion. <laughs> this one is the Woodford Reserve Master's Collection. This is the 2024 edition, and I know this has gotten some mixed reviews in the past. Uh, some think it's overpriced, but this specific batch is amazing. But it is a small batch. Yes, it is. But a very specific and curated small batch. Most of the barrels come from the higher floors at Woodford. More heat equals more flavor. It's got the flavor and the proof although it's not 114. Get it off this list. It's 121.2 nice. and the highest proof on this list. As you get into aroma, you'll find a mix of vanilla and fruit and a mix of baking spices, clove. And the palette is a beautiful blend of soft oak with some bold fruity notes. Mm -hmm. Some cocoa or chocolate. And the finish is more the same mix of sweet honey oak and it has a really nice viscous mouth mm -hmm. it's some of the best bourbon i've tried this year this thing is special mm -hmm. a fruity candy flavor explosion so elizabeth mccall the master distiller at woodford reserve she did this one upright mm -hmm. thank you elizabeth this might be one that seems overpriced at 150 but if you can get it for MSRP, it is totally worth the experience in our opinion. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Okay, before we get into the last one, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And smash that like button. It truly helps us out. Okay, it is time for bottle number five. <laughs> the Knob Creek 18 year.
This bottle is a little more expensive, but also one that I see the most sitting on shelves at MSRP. And we actually got this one for less than MSRP. And yes, as you can see, we have yet to open this bottle. But don't you worry, we killed the last one. Yes, we did. This one might be another sleeper, but maybe the price just keeps people away. Or maybe it's just relatively new, so it's not getting a lot of hype, at least in our area. Mm -hmm. At the last whiskey festival we were at, no one even paid attention to this or knew what it was. I think we might have killed that bottle too. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we did. This one is a robust $175 and it clocks in at 100 proof. But it is better than the Elijah Craig 18 in every way, shape, or oh, form. Yeah. If you like Knob Creek 12 or even the 15, we think you would like this one. Yeah, if you like earthy notes like leather and oak, you'll definitely love this one. This thing is an absolute flavor bomb and I love it. Mm -hmm. It has some great caramel sweetness, sugar, baking spices. Mm. Yeah, it starts out with a little oak and, and leather on the nose. Mm -hmm. And the bold flavors continue into the palate and into the finish. The finish is long and just a little bit dry. Yeah, you, you definitely know you're drinking an 18 year old bourbon, but in the best way. We don't often recommend spending a lot of money on a single bottle of bourbon, but these are five we recommend doing so. All right, so tell us, have you tried these? Is there something that should be on this list? We love hearing from you. Leave us a comment. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for more bourbon content. Always keep exploring. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace.